guys welcome to part two of money system tutorial and in this part I'm gonna show you how to data store it so when you get money it saves when you leave the game it'll save and when you come back you'll still have the same amount from last time that's what I'm gonna show you how to do but I do data store my way I think I'm doing it the old way but it still works I'm, I'm not sure if there's a new way because I haven't been paying attention to data store lately but this is the classic way that I've learned how to do it the whole time and that's the way I've been doing it <laughs> but yeah the first thing you want to do is if you haven't already go back to your money system script that we made um, in part one part one will be in the description also in part three we'll show you how to make a, an ATM where you could withdraw money from your bank account or deposit money into your bank account um, and I'll show you how to do that in the next part, but this part is going to show you how to do data store to save your money stuff. Okay, so this is where we left off last time in the money script that should have been in the workspace. Now we're going to make a new variable called local ds, which stands for data store, equals game colon get service. Uh, data store service and you press enter to do that quickly um, calling get data store and then you could call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it um, money data store you can put whatever you want in here um, for the name of your data store and once you got that we're gonna go into this player added function that we did last time too Let's go, let's go here. And then right in between player, right in between these two, I'm gonna put local um, key equals ID dash, and then get out of that, do dot dot to connect the, fun the not the function, the string, player.user ID. So what this does, it's basically a security key, like some kind of password to access your data um, that it saved. Uh, so yeah, that's what that is. It's basically going to be ID and then the player's user ID. And then what we're going to do next is that we're going to do right below when we're done making this, right below this, we're going to press enter, of course. Then we're going to do p call function. p call parentheses function and then another parentheses. It should look like that. You gotta make this bigger. What this does is that anything in this in a p call function, if there's an error, like if something messes up or breaks, um, it won't break the entire script. So, like say like something about data store just broke for some random reason, it won't mess up the entire script. So that's what pcall does, because if something were to mess up and you didn't have pcall, then it would break the whole script and it would just, your money system wouldn't work, it would just fail. There would, yeah, so that's what that is. So inside that, we're going to do saved, save stuff, let's call it saved stuff, equals ds, colon get a sync. Hold on just one moment. Alright, I'm back. I have to do something real quick. So, um, this isn't a red underline, so there's nothing wrong with that. You could just leave it, but wait, let's see what happens if I put local. I think I think it'll recognize it inside the whole function. So just do that. And then before right out then get out of the function, then go one line down do if saved stuff then so what this does is um oh shoot yeah don't put a local there so yeah it should be like that so what this does this checks the data store if the game if the player has any data saved like this gets the data of the player like if at like the their money and their bank account and their cash it'll check if there's anything there but if if there is something there, we're going to change their cash 
and bank account uh what they have we're going to change it to what they had when they left the game last time so we're going to do cash dot value equals saved stuff and then um i think these are brackets one then we're going to put a one in there that means it because the data store is going to save a table um and the first value in the table is going to be what the cash was what the cash that it saved so you could just do that and then go down a the line then bank dot value bank account i mean account dot value equals saved stuff two so what this is doing is right here it calls um get a sync from data store so it gets all the data of the player that joined the game and if it does have any data from previous games that uh, from previous times that they joined the game and from it's from what it saved um, then it's going to change the cash value to um, what it saved when they left the game before but let's do what if they never played the game so that's what we're going to do if there's nothing if there's no data saved because they never played the game before then we're going to make we're going to make them some data. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain for me. I don't know why. Uh, local save. Make a function called save. No, not a function. A variable. And then do a table. And cache.value. And then bank account.value. So this is going to make the table. This is what it, the data store is going to save. If they never played the game before, this is what we're going to make for them. A new table of data. And then we're going to do another P call just in case uh, data store messes up. It won't break the whole script first. Like it won't, it won't break anything. <laughs> and then we're going to save. So we're going to save this. DS colon set a sync. This will set. Um, this will save their data. So in the in the parentheses we're gonna do key comma save. So this is the little secret access code to the data store, to the player's data store. And right here, save is gonna be what it's saving. So it's gonna save the cache, the value of the cache of what the player has, and their bank account value. And then below that. Okay, I'm gonna show you for like this tutorial. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a while wait to do what this I'm, what I'm gonna do here is that it gives the player cash every two seconds. So yeah, this is the salary. Um, cash dot value equals cash dot value plus let's give them 15 bucks every two seconds so that's what it does every two seconds we're going to give the player 15 bucks in cash and that's what it's going to do so i'll have the script the whole script oh shoot and i'll have the whole script in the description if you want to copy it if you're too lazy to write this all out but yeah now let's get out of this function and let's make a let's go down a couple lines oh yeah just that and make a new function called game dot player dot player removing connect oh plr Ooh, no no function <laughs> okay see for me all right so what we're gonna do here is that when the player leaves the game I want to save their data so now let's also let's get the security the little access code to the data store that's what i'm going to call it for you guys so you guys understand better let's do another let's right here let's do a variable called low um key <laughs> low key um key and let's make it the same thing you did on over here so you're basically just copying what you did right there id dash plr dot user id 
oh what happened here oh shoot right here in these parentheses put plr for player short for player and then local save another variable called save equals and right here it's what we're gonna save so we're gonna save we're obviously gonna save the player's cash and bank account values so what we're gonna do um, we should have done this here let me do this real quick so we're gonna make another go up above these I should have done this before that um, do local cash equals game dot here where did I put that again oh, money data money data dot no colon find first child plr dot name and then local bank account equals money data wait no <laughs> oh gosh no that's not right um here go down another line so get yourself an extra line above these two let's make it let's call it player money plr money equals money data colon find first child uh plr dot name so then get rid of this So th this will all be in the description, guys. So if you get lost or something, you could just get it from the description. Just copy and paste it. So what I'm doing here is getting the values for cash and bank account. So that way I could save it. So for cash equals PLR money dot cash dot value. Oh, no. Just make it dot cash. PLR money dot bank account all right so let's go down another line let's do an f just in case for some reason plr money doesn't exist so i'll explain this i will explain this after i'm done writing this if plr money then just to be secure and so this says it gets the p the player's money data so the cash and bank account values, which is stored in a folder. So this is the player's folder of their data, of their money. <laughs> um, and this is going to check if it's actually there because I don't want it for some reason to break. So I'm just doing this for extra security. So if it exists, we're going to make two variables called cash and bank account from over here. So cash equals player money dot cash and then bank account equals player money dot bank account. So now in the save table, in between these braces, I think they're called the yep, braces, I guess. We're gonna put cash in the first one, cash dot value, comma, bank accounts dot value. And then below that, let's do another pcall function so that way it doesn't mess up if it breaks for some reason. If it doesn't save and then it breaks, then inside that we're going to do ds colon set a sync to save it. And then we're going to do key comma save. So this is going to save the cash value and the bank account value. And then after that we're going to destroy the folder with the player's money data in it. Because they're not in the game any anymore so we don't need it. So then um, player money and destroy that'll destroy their folder and that is officially it for this um, part in part three I will show you guys how to do an ATM to withdraw and deposit money um, so yeah this script will be in the description if you want to copy it uh, part one the link to part one will also be in the description if you haven't seen it already which you should have. All right, guys. So let's. I forgot to. I literally ended the video right now, but then I forgot to test it. So now let's go test it if it actually saves. So let's go do that right now. Um, so I'll be right back with you guys. All right, the game is starting up.
Oh, don't mind that stuff. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, as you can see, uh, the part, this is giving me $15 every two seconds, um, as I did in the script. So now let's leave the game and rejoin and see if we still have our money. So let's leave. And then let me open up the game. I have a double monitor, so let me get it over here. All right, I'm rejoining the game. And there we go, our money from last time. It's working. All right, so yeah, um, as I said, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and it helped you too. I hope it helped you and you found something and you learned something new about Data Store 2. So thank you for watching part two of Money System Tutorial. Part three will come out soon. It'll show you how to make an ATM to withdraw and deposit money. Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a like if you found this helpful to you. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.